Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry and of course in this episode we are going to be talking about alkenes okay this is an introductory class into alkenes okay in the last uh, episodes okay we'll be talking about the alkenes we'll talk about the introduction the characteristics and properties of alkenes we'll talk about uh, the uh, preparation of alkenes we'll talk about the reaction that they undergo we'll talk about the uses of alkenes okay so please if you have not watched any of those episodes you have no business here because every class is a sequel to the next all right so please make sure you go back and watch and watch and do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the o3 schools jam app it is all you need to succeed in your jam exam if you want to pass if you want to succeed and not succeed please go and download that app immediately from Play Store and start practicing your way to success. I'm going to tell you more about the app later, but for now, let's see a question from the O3 School Jam app. This is a 2006 question, number 19. 2006, number 19, it is being displayed on the screen right now. It says, an example of aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbon. Aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbon is A, pentane. B, butanol, C, propane, D, benzene. Okay, so at the end of the class, we'll know which one is what unsaturated or aliphatic hydrocarbon in those options. Okay, so please stay to the end of the class. I'm going to answer that question and some other question. In fact, we may not need to answer them because at the end of the class, you already know the answers. That is why we teach you and then we answer questions. Then it builds your confidence. That's how you learn. Okay, so let's go over to the board. Alkenes. Okay, so alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They are unsaturated. I told you that what? Uh, in, uh, among alkenes, among alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. Okay, I told you that what alkenes are the only saturated hydrocarbons. Okay, the other ones are what? unsaturated they are unsaturated okay so please just take note of that if you know that you are okay okay if that is the only thing you learn from this class you have learned something but please make sure you stay with us to the end of the class all right so alkenes uh, sorry alkenes are what unsaturated hydrocarbons so i want to be saying there are properties that are characteristics okay a profile of the alkenes number one the general formula the general formula of the alkenes is CnH2n. This is the general formula of the alkenes. This is the general formula of the alkenes. The general formula of the alkenes is CnH2n. All right. So for the first member, having one carbon atom, it will be what now? C1H what? two times one i'm going somewhere okay do not be quick to judge all right so that'll be what now c h2 okay this is supposed to be the first alkene one we call what methane a b but there's nothing like methane it does not exist okay there's nothing like what methane and this is the reason okay if you have carbon like this it is supposed to be bonded by what by it's supposed to be surrounded by four bonds Okay, it is supposed to be surrounded by four bonds. Okay, so if it is bonded to what? To hydrogen. In fact, it does not have any other thing that it will be bonded to because alkenes have double, they have a carbon to carbon double bond. That is their functional group. Okay, they are functional group. They are characterized by carbon to carbon what? Uh, double bond. Double bond. Okay, so first of all, this methane now that we wrote here, it does not have another carbon to bond to, to now what show us that double bond, number one. That's number one. Then number two, it has just two hydrogen atoms. That means if you put one bond here, put one hydrogen here now, how many bonds do we have? One, two. Okay, and we need what a total of what, four bonds around each carbon atom. That will make what methane impossible. So there's nothing like what methane. All right, so that is why the simplest alkene will be what? A thing. A thing is what? The simplest what? Alkene. Okay? So, it is called a thin. It's also called what? Ethylene. Okay? So, a thin or ethylene is the simplest alkene that we have. Alright? So, the general formula of the alkenes is CNH2N. You must take note of this. And then, the first member or the simplest member 
is ethene, okay? Also called ethylene. We also have the cycloalkenes, cycloalkenes. Cycloalkenes. Okay, this one they have the same general formula as the alkynes. Okay, they have the same general formula as the alkynes. We said in when we're talking about alkenes, we said that well, the cycloalkenes have the same general formula as the alkenes. The cycloalkenes have the same general formula as the alkynes. That will make that what the general formula of the alkenes will be what C N. H2N minus what? 2. This is the general formula of the what? Of the alkenes. So please take note of that. The first member of what? Of the alkenes is what? Ethene or what? Ethylene. Okay, and if you put what? That means ethene has how many carbon atoms? Two carbon atoms. So if you put two carbon atoms here for N, it will be what? C2H2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That is what? C2. H4. This is what the, the formula of what? Of what? Of 13. Okay? So, the simplest member of the alkanes is not methane, but what? But 13. Okay? Then, what type of hybridization okay, is found in the alkenes? Alkenes are sp2 hybridized. Okay? Alkenes, they are what? sp2 hybridized. You must take note of that. Okay? They are sp2 Hybridized. Now, what else should we talk about? Is their shape. Okay? The shape of the alkenes, we say they are what? They are tetrahedra. Okay? But for the alkenes, they are trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. Take note of this. These are what? Exam questions. So you do not mess with them. Rather, do you joke with them? All right? Please, before we continue, make sure you like this video. Liking this video will make other students who are finding it hard to understand organic chemistry and other chemistry topics to join us in this class and also learn and succeed. I be you know one made a pass. Please click on that like button now. Do not forget also to subscribe to this channel once you subscribe. Whenever we release a new video, we are going to what? Get a you are going to get a notification on your phone that we have released a new video and you can come in to join us. So it will help you, all right? And to help the channel grow. And do not forget to share. Don't be stingy. Click on that share button. Share it to your Facebook, please. Share it to your WhatsApp status. Share it everywhere. Please let that, let all, everybody just learn and pass. Make everybody, make, make everybody just pass. That is our goal. That is our aim. All right? So please, this is what? The shape. Of what of the alkenes, they are trigonal planar. So also we said that the alkenes, the bond angle is 109.5 degree. I'm doing revision now. Okay, alkenes, the bond angle is what 109.5 degree or 109 degree 28 seconds. But the bond angle for the alkenes is 120 degree. Okay, please, alkenes, they are what trigonal planar and they have a bond angle of what of 100 and what 20 degree. I have hinted already that alkenes have a functional group of what? Carbon to carbon what? Double bond. Okay? So, like I said, alkenes have a functional group of carbon to carbon double bond. That means if you want to draw the structure of what? Of a thing, which is C to H4, I'm going to have what? C double bond to what? To C. How many hydrogen atom is there? Four. Okay, I do not share this hydrogen atom. This is how you do it. Okay, understand that what they, they can only be what four bonds around each carbon atom. So already we have one, two. Okay, that means we have what three, what four. Okay, if you put H here, you put what H here. Okay, so this carbon atom, okay, is okay, dissatisfied. It has what four bonds surrounding it. One, two, three, four. Then now, what about this one now? One, two, then three, and what, and four also. So, yeah, another H, yeah, another H. So, you are able to what, to draw the structure of what? Of 18. Okay? So, please take note of that. For example, for 18, let me go back so that you understand this. You have to understand this because if you understand it, naming structures, okay, or drawing structures will become very easy for you. You must understand this. This is the first rule you must understand. Okay, for example, if you have an arcane like 18, Ethane is what? C to H6. Okay, we say ethane is like this one, two. Okay? Like this, like this. Because it's what? Arcanes are characterized by what? C carbon to carbon single bond. Okay, so you have your H here. 
your h here your h here your h here your h here okay so if you look at it again how many bonds are around this carbon atom it's still four you know go past four that is what one two three four all right they want to buy this carbon atom one two three four so you must understand what how to draw structures okay how to draw what uh organic structures okay so now let us continue that is what it in we say that what uh the trigonal pillar the bond angle is what 120 degree we say that functional group is carbon to carbon double board then of course we have said also that they are what that they are unsaturated they are unsaturated so you must take note of that also they are what unsaturated and now let's talk about their isomerism what type of isomerism do alkenes undergo they undergo both structural and stereo isomerism okay they undergo what both structural and stereo isomerism. Okay, so that is what the alkenes. Okay, they undergo both structural and what and stereo isomerism. Now, then the last one I'm going to talk about is their reaction. What type of reaction do they like undergoing? Okay, they like undergoing what addition reactions. Okay, they like undergoing addition reactions. Reactions. Okay, you know that what an, an alkene has two bonds like this. One of these bonds is what is a sigma bond, is a sigma bond, while the other one is a what is a pi bond. Okay, when alkenes go into reaction, okay, the pi bond, which is the weaker bond among the two bonds, is what is broken. Okay, while the sigma bond remains. Okay, so they are favored, they like going to what addiction what reaction they like what undergoing addiction reaction and because of that we say that what that the alkenes are what electrophilic electrophilic okay so, so please just take note of, of what of what of this okay that is what all you need to know about the alkenes okay just a, an introduction to the alkenes we have mentioned that what they have the general formula for cnh2n why the cycloalkenes general formula of cnh2n minus two we talk about their shape trigonal planar we talk about what the first member ethene or ethylene okay we talk about also their bone angle 120 degree we talk about the isomerism that they undergo structural and stereo isomerism the reactions that they undergo addition this is the way you be you be rhyme me it's good it's sweet for your mouth but you know good so please do not play with this enjoy yourself it's chemistry is chemistry enjoy yourself love it okay leave it love it chemistry is practical it is very very sweet it's the simplest subject okay so please to calm yourself down take one bottle of coke while you are reading and enjoy yourself okay so please that is what the profile of the alkene now let us now see some of the characteristics okay of alkenes all right now the first three members the first three members of the alkenes they are what that is what it in after a thing is now a propene. After propene is what is butene. Okay, these first three members, they are gases. They are gases. Okay, they are what? They are gases at room temperature. They are what? They are gases. The first three alkenes are alkenes rather are gases. Now the from from you know it it in has how many carbon atoms? Two carbon atoms. Propene has three carbon atoms. Butene has for carbon atom, we do not have methane. Abi, yes, we have said we do not have anything like methane. Very wrong. All right. So, uh, from carbon five, from C five to C fourteen, okay, they are liquids at room temperature. They are liquids. That from pentene, okay. So from pentene to C fourteen, whatever the name is, they are all liquids at room temperature liquids at room temperature all right so please take note of that take note of all these properties why the remaining ones that what they are solids at room what temperature they are solids at room temperature from what from c15 upwards okay they are what solids at room temperature please understand we said that what that uh, the first three members are gases the next ones from C5, from carbon 5 to carbon 14, are what liquids at room temperature. Why was from C15 upwards, we say that they are what? That they are solids at room temperature. And of course, these alkenes, they are soluble in organic solvents. They are soluble in organic solvents like benzene 
and Ita, just like all the Akins, benzene and Ita. They are soluble in organic solvents, just like what benzene and Ita. Okay, and remember, we said ethene is the smallest member. Okay, and ethene is a sweet smelling gas. Okay, it's a sweet smelling gas. This ethene that I are seeing here is a sweet. It's a colorless, sweet smelling gas. Colorless first. It's a colorless, sweet smelling gas that is slightly denser than hair. It is a colorless, sweet smelling gas that is slightly denser than hair. Okay? And this eating that you are seeing is what? Sparingly soluble in water. It is sparingly soluble in water. All right, so now. We have seen some of the characteristics of what of eating. In the next class, what we're going to be doing is what talk about what the preparation of what of our kings. Or first of all, let us do nomenclature. Let's do how do we name our kings before we now talk about what the preparations of our kings and then we'll talk about the reaction that our kings undergo. And then we'll close up with the uses of what of our kings. Okay, let us see that question where what we're dealing with 2006, number 19. An example of aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbon from that place is what option will be option what option C because. Uh, propane is an arcane. All right, so please do not like, do not forget to download. Go to Play Store, download all three schools jam app immediately. Start practicing your way to success. It's all the past question you can ever ask. All right, so please, you have no need to worry about past questions. I'll see you in the next class. We'll talk about the nomenclature of arcanes. Thank you for watching.